And we're live. This is Julian Jean Pierre from the Royal St. Lucian Seamoss Company. Sorry it took so long for me to start tonight. I was uh, working late at the warehouse and rushed home to come and join this. And um, yeah, great Wednesday hump day. It's been um, pretty crazy. A lot of uh, Seamoss talk in the news. I don't know if anybody else has noticed. But at least in uh, Toronto, here in Canada, we're starting to see the buzz going on. Um, CMOS was in the news today on our like major uh, news station called CP24. And um, they had a company called World Moss, who I, I happen to know and are great people. And so I'm really happy to see them getting some exposure on, on the media. And hopefully that will translate into some sales. But... It's a win for everybody as, you know, the more people that are aware of CMOS, the more um, people are going to come to the market. And so everybody should be, you know, trying to encourage everybody around them to try and get some, um, some um, I guess, media attention. Uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen this week. Uh, for those that don't know, on Friday, the, um, there's a show called Shark Tank. And on Shark Tank, there's a, they're going to have their first CMOS company pitch an idea. And um, I saw a little teaser and it got me really excited because I'm curious to see how the deal plays out. Do they get a deal? Who are they dealing doing a deal with? You know, I have a feeling um, it's going to be Kevin Hart. I think that, it's going to be Mark McHugh. Yeah? Okay. We'll see. Mark McHugh. We should have even a bet to see who, who, who he's going to uh, deal with. You know what I mean? Who he's going to make the deal with. But I have a feeling it's Kevin Hart. And if it is, I think that's an excellent win because, you know, he has a lot of um, famous people that he can spread the word to and get on board. And that can create a lot of buzz, not just for um, Alexio's company, the Transformation Factory, but for many other CMOS companies. So um, I guess, you know, how do I say it? You've been warned in a sense, like it's, you know, if, if you've thought about getting serious about CMOS, now's the time to really sort of uh, invest all your energies into making it happen. Hey, what's up, Johnny? How you doing? I'm happy to see that you join me. I'm going to see if you want to come in on the video and discuss John messaging me earlier where um, we had a discussion on, uh, he wanted me to give him some information on um, advertising. What's up, buddy? Hey, how are you? Good, good, good. Good, so, awesome. Yeah, so earlier you were, you were, we were messaging and you were telling me you were trying to get some sales with the advertising and stuff like that, right? Right, right. So, I mean, I, I've been doing e-commerce for a while now, but um, uh, I guess what I've been targeting for, for CMOS hasn't really been working out. You know, I've done I've done vegans, I've done vegetarianism, um, just a whole bunch of different things, and they don't seem to be working out. So, mm -hmm. I was just and trying so you to... Are, you are using the Facebook manager and you're, you're doing that. Right targeting through that okay and mm -hmm. then um you have a website i do are you getting any traffic to your website well i sell i sell a lot of the cmos locally uh -huh. in supermarkets in my area and so the traffic on the website would come if if uh you know the ads were actually getting clicked on but doesn't seem to be uh as much so so no one's even clicking on the ads. I mean, it's it's getting traffic, but not as much as you would want. Right, and and with my experience with other stores, you know, it, it seems I'm not sure if the product is is saturated. I I mean, I can't say it is because I know the competition is killing it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, we're we're doing pretty well on the advertising and stuff. But what we do a lot too is um, we um, we track people. We send people to the site, and then from them, we're tracking them and using lookalike audiences and stuff to find the the like we take the yeah. audiences that are purchasing, and then from there, we build a kind of um, a lookalike audience from that. Uh, but then, I guess. <laughs> 
comes to building our cold audience, let me just pull up my Facebook thing so I can just kind of see firsthand. But I know our strategy is that we we do it almost like um, a three-tiered strategy. So we develop our cold audience. And for that, we use ads that are very just generic, not salesy ads, but more about, you know, would you like more information about this? And, um, you know, these are the top 10 stuff on, wet, on CMOS and stuff. And so from there, if someone's interested in the CMOS, they'll click to get more information or they'll click to do your website. And then from there, we track those people and then we create a, a second lookalike audience or our lookalike audience, sorry, first from the first one. And we stream their um, more messages that are like um, about our business and who we are, right? And then those that click and, you know, engage in those ads, then we send the final ad where it's a deal or some kind of incentive. And, and you know, so we kind of do that Gary V like jab, jab, jab. And then in the fine, the final, we do the right hook, you know? Yeah, I got it. You, yeah, I mean, yeah, it makes sense. You're moving down the funnel. Yeah, um, that's it. As you should. Um, yeah, I mean... I guess I could share my website. <laughs> yeah, share. Um, What's the website yeah. address? I don't. It's takeuntamed.com. Take untamed. On t a m e d dot com. Yeah. Correct. Correct. So um, this is you know built from scratch by me. All the design, the logo, the branding on the packaging, everything. And as you know. The the beautiful sea moss comes from this man Julian here on the other oh. side of the screen. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As as uh, as you know, you're my supplier. So oh. that's why the sea moss is so beautiful. Well, the site looks good. Um, it's got good imagery. Yeah. It's clean. Yeah. It's not cluttered with a lot of stuff. You have some of the products on the first page, which is good. You have your gel and then the raw. You know, and then you have, which I find is most important is the, the reviews and the testimonials. And you've mm -hmm. done a good one where most of these have pictures and stuff like that. Right. It, there's, you know, really a lack, I would say, of reviews just because the lack of sales online. Um, the people in stores, I haven't really put, you know, any sort of sign in order for them. It's It's hard, right? Because it's a supermarket. So I can't really leave like a sign next to the product saying, leave us reviews, you know, but um, I'm going to try. We'll True. See. Yeah. Um, do you have a phone number? Can you put a phone number on your site? I could, I could. That might help. Um, I always find if I have a number, like, you know, not having an email address is concerning to me. Like, I understand, like, in some ways you have to have the form so that you cut down on spammers, but uh, a number is always good. Um, yeah makes sense yeah you have the about me filled out so that's good terms of service policy yeah in terms of like that that's the thing because i mean i've had other people look at it and and you know i'm sure you have expertise in the area as well mm -hmm. but i i know like on the website side of things i know like i mean i'm confident in the website right in the presentation mm -hmm. and whatnot on that side of things it's just it seems to be the targeting that I'm doing or the creatives. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm pulling up my, um, cold audience targeting to see what sort of, um, audiences I'm using to give you an idea. How much traffic are you getting to the site in a day? I just started running ads again, like two days ago. So like barely started getting visitors trickling in. And before that, literally none, right? Because I'm not running traffic. I wasn't running ads at all. So mm -hmm. just relying off, you know, sales locally and whatnot. So um, I tried Google ads as well uh, because I heard CMOS was killing it on Google ads. They're good. But I just, I don't know, like I was bidding at a, at a cap of about a dollar and then it was getting blown up by bots i feel like because i was looking at the at the traffic there was like no ad to carts it was literally just landing page views mm -hmm. um and like the bounce rates were just it was immediate. literally just, yeah it was immediate and it was like 10 clicks would suck up my 10 dollar budget 
because yeah. of the, the max bid being at one. So it's like, what's going try, on here? You know? <laughs> try putting the clicks lower. Try putting clicks at 25 cents. Because in some ways, you don't always need to be at the, top the highest. The time. Right. You know what I mean? Um, I know for our AdWords, let me just go to Google. And I'll tell you, like, I think we're paying a lot less than that per click. I think ours is like 80 cent or so or less. Let me just see. Hey, what's up, Ricky? Hey, Courtney. What's going on, man? Not much. We're talking about um, ad targeting and creating audiences and stuff like that. Okay. I just actually, um, I was talking to you about ads. Yep. The other day. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I'm about to get in the car, so I'm about to mute it for a quick second. No problem. You go right ahead. You can listen to us. Yeah, I'm just pulling at this now. And let's see. Another thing you might want to add to your website, and I can send them to you, is pictures of, like, St. Lucia or pictures of, like, Paradise. You know, people always gotcha. like you know I mean? So maybe I can offer some of that to you. Maybe some of the other photos that I have with CMOS because then it can show people, okay, you have some connection to the source because right, right. Um, you're able to get those photos, you know? Got you. I would appreciate that. Thanks, Julian. Yeah, no problem. It's my pleasure. I, I know in the future, what I want to try to do is even create like a database of like content and photos and i know when i go down to saint lucia if you want hit me up and i'll go to the beach and be kind of like yeah you know we're in saint lucia and we're we're harvesting sea moss for for your company and blah 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 awesome bro i love i love the ideas and i love the i love your um your humble attitude <laughs> <laughs> thank you I, yeah, you have to be humble in some ways you know yeah, you no, of course 100 percent I hate being those, I hate dealing with those, like, uh, dicks that are, like, full of themselves and they're all, you know what I mean, this and that, so. Yeah, yeah no, I, 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 I mean, every everybody's got to eat, and listen, there's, like, 8 billion people on Earth. There's there's enough for everybody, right? For sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, um, just... Julian, my daughter is actually crying. Let me, let me go get her for one second, right? Okay. If you even want to put on pause, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to answer some of these questions. Because it looks like, again, Facebook. Um, I, got, it's, I mean, it's not again. I haven't even sent in, um, a, a, what do they call it, a support ticket. But Facebook is not uh, doing... Um, it's not showing me the comments. I have to go into the the thing, you know. So, uh, G. Allen, yes, we can talk uh, about powder. And what's up, Kirby? Thanks for coming by and showing some love. Always love that. And thank you for helping that guy in the group today, who or the lady who had gotten um, burnt by that guy. Um, I think his name was Adriano, or I don't know, some stupid name guy was like a total dick from the beginning and it's funny i never said it in the group but like you can always tell the guys that are full of shit because they come in hard and they they burn out quick you know what i mean and they come in like like waving their shit around like like you know what i mean they're you know the cats meow or whatever and uh <laughs> the, the the it's usually the the quiet ones that are 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 the ones that um you know they're not trying to be something that they're not and trying to like impress people the steam all sells itself you know what i mean you don't need to like really push it and convince people to like it you know oh, right. hey good to see you're back so i'm pulling up my um my facebook uh not facebook uh google the uh account I have here to show you some of the clicks and like with the Google ads what I'm doing generally is just uh, certain keywords and I find that those keywords have been working really good and we're getting a lot of um, uh, conversions whether it be add to cards or even just looking at the product pages and sometimes that's something you might want to look at is um, when you're doing these conversion ads is to do the initial ads as 
converting to say look at a product page as opposed to adding it to as a purchase um i always take them to the landing page i don't even force the the purchase at all no okay because i always want them to go like through the whole experience of reading and and just understanding it me and that's what we do too we send them to the home page and let them sort of scroll and wonder from from there um, right let's see why is it showing to do the last 14 days? Because it was showing zero for some reason. But I think I think their time zone is slightly different than ours and that it doesn't uh, it resets before 12 o'clock. So mm -hmm. for the last, I guess, is this 14 days? Yeah. So the, for the last 14 days, um, we spent about $1,160. Uh, we had about 1,400 clicks. Um, the amount of conversions was 851, and it worked out to be about an 82 cent cost per click. Um, I'm running two different campaigns. You Mostly said you had 800 something conversions? Yeah. So wow. these conversions are not just uh, add to carts, they're also like uh, add to page or, you know. Um, they did something on the website, not just go to the page, but they maybe looked at the about page or they went and signed up for something. I think I can break it down even more to show kind of like what each conversion. Would you of. mind sharing your purchases or no? Huh? Would you mind sharing purchase conversions or? Yeah, let me see if they, they looked at this on, on uh, purchases sales. So I had about 111 sales from, from those, uh, from those conversions. So sure. yeah. And then the average sale is about $150. So nice. Yeah. Let me do here. 150 times 111. Yeah, so that was like, I probably spent an average of uh, just under $1,200. And it was probably around, it said, the number says here is 16650 but let's run it off to 1500 Because I'm sure not every order is 150 you know what I mean? But that's yeah. the average. And so the keywords that I'm using, which is probably, you know what I mean, something that people are asking themselves, are pretty simple. It's mostly just like CMOS and CMOS related stuff. You know what I mean? But what I've done in some of these campaigns is I've really um, created, a, like one of the campaigns has something like eight different versions of the ad. Okay. With the different writings. You know what I mean? And so that's something you might want to try in Google AdWords is to... Uh, create multiple ads um, in that same campaign with different titles and stuff, and then start looking at the titles of like which ones are producing the most of returns and then shut the other ones off. You know what I mean? Like typical stuff. Right. Are you doing display ads or just uh, the keywords? Mostly the keywords and the links. Um, I'm learning right now the display ads and I got to get in time what I'm thinking is going to be really, um, how do you say it? Uh, like a good return on the money is creating video ads and running those video ads on YouTube. I think there's a lot of people that are interested in CMOS or want to learn more about CMOS that are yeah. already searching on there looking. And in, and what I've learned from just researching YouTube and these and Google AdWords is that you can really go in and target these people that are there. Like you can almost target it by channel. So if you find a channel where, you know, these guys are producing a lot of CMOS content or health related stuff and your target market is, is, you know, active in there, then you can run ads just on that channel and have your ad show up in stream or just before their video comes up, which says, Hey, or even afterwards says, Hey, I know you just watched this video on CMOS. Are you looking where to buy it? Boom. Here we go. Yeah, basically, yeah, I, I read that too. Basically, the way it works is 
Um, if it's a video, it bases it on the category about soccer balls and whatnot, and then it'll just show your ad like on those videos, um, like at, either at the end, like you said, or or midstream. Mm -hmm. Pretty good because you know they're already looking at they already have an interest. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's great. Yeah, and that's that would be that's good. I also want to learn with Facebook how to do the same thing, but target health pages and stuff like that. And, and um, uh, things that are related to, you know, other pages that are people are going to that are sort of like if you're in that space, and then maybe that's something you might want to spend a little time on is 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 developing key target, like target customers, or like people that you think you're like ideal customer, you know, yeah. 20 to this, this, she does this, they do that. Is it male? Is it female? How much money do they make? You know, where do they shop this and that and almost develop a profile of these people, you know? Yeah. I mean that, yeah, a hundred percent. That's what you're, you're supposed to do when you're, you're seeking out your, your demographic and whatnot. Um, like I, I know my demographic because like I said, I do well locally. Yeah. Um, but just, it's just like I've, I've tried a lot of like um, interest regarding um, vitamins, obviously your, your vegetarianism, your vegan, like, you know, those magazines and whatnot. Um, mm. What, what other interests um, like detox? Um, mm -hmm. They call, yeah. I mean, o organic foods, all, all that stuff, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Um, it just, it just hasn't worked. It's crazy. Well, I don't know. And you, have, you well, obviously you have an Instagram page. Well, here, let's take a different approach. And what I'm going to show you or talk to you about or less, cause you can't really see it is some of the audiences that I've created. Cause one of the things I did too, was I went in and then just created like different audiences, like, um, like people that Insta you know, um, interacted with my Instagram page, people that have interacted with my videos, ones that have interacted 10%, ones that have interacted, you know, 75%. And I'll take even the list that say the people that watch it, for, you know, 10% of the video, and I will tell Facebook to not serve ads to those people. Because in some ways, I don't want to serve these next set of ads to people that aren't interested in the video. And usually if you don't watch more than 10 seconds of it, you're not mm -hmm. that interested. And so I'll tell it like, show this video to people that have watched up to 90%, but exclude people that have watched less than 10%. Yeah. You know sure. what I mean? And you do that through the, the creation of the, the audiences. And so, yeah. I mean, I, I could get to that point. I'm not even like, I don't, I can't even create those audiences because I don't have that those metrics yet um the instagram page is very lackluster um due to the fact that you know like one of my other brands it it got a uh, a lot of followers just from facebook traffic you know and mm -hmm. they follow instagram immediately because you know the ads were served through instagram as well um that one is in the dog niche so a lot more passion there but um yeah you know as long as i haven't really run ads um in the past it, it hasn't really been uh kicking off the instagram followers so i, I mean it, it kind of goes parallel you know what i mean mm -hmm. but maybe if you're looking for more activity in site then you create an ad that just directs people to your instagram site to either like or follow you or engage in you and and you create the ad that is sort of cmos related so those people that are interested in cmos will will like that engage that and then you you create that audience through Facebook, because in some ways, that's kind of like what I did. And when I did the ads, it was something like 20 cents per click or 15. Like I did them super cheap, because the idea is not to be number one, but just to serve your ad to somebody. So whether they saw it first, or they saw it 15th, they saw your ad. And if they clicked on it, then you know what I mean? Now you're tracking them. But you're not paying a dollar to track these people, you're paying like 20 cents, which means you can track five more people for the same cost. Right, right. So, some of the, right? I was gonna ask you a, a delicate question. Um, yeah, it's a it's an iffy topic, but I've noticed that um, 
I mean, let's not sugarcoat things here. We know yeah. that demographic for, for CMOS is a lot of the Caribbean culture, mm -hmm. African-American culture, Jamaicans, uh, you know, whatnot. But do you think it's a stretch to say that, like, people, perhaps if I were to create a video ad or something, um, and they just see the skin of the, 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 the color of my skin, like can like say that I have no passion in the product at all and that I'm just being sort of like a, a culture vulture or whatnot. Cause I mean, I've seen it be a thing in other, in other industries. So mm -hmm. I Fuck mean, them. I know it's definitely a topic for conversation. <laughs> Fuck those people. Those people will never buy your CMOS anyway. So don't, don't even acknowledge that they exist. Yeah, you know what right. I mean? And I feel like this, that, you being someone who's white or non-black is going to open up in the market to those that like, there's probably a lot of people that want to get into CMOS, but they're, they're standing back because they're like, Oh, it's a black thing. Let's leave it to the blacks or whatever. But if you come in there and you know what I mean? It's like, well, look, it's not just the black thing. White people like it too. Chinese people like it. Asian people like it. Most of those people that are hating about culture vulture and shit like that, there's something wrong with them. There's an issue with them. They're probably jealous because you're doing it better. And what I see when it comes to racism and stuff like that, or in society, it really comes down, th this is a game of life. And some people play the games better than others. And you can sit there and cry about it, or you can learn the rules and get better at it. You know yeah. what I mean? One of the arguments I have to a lot of black people when they, they cry about this stuff with white people or other races, why are they this and that? It's, I look at them and say, well, what are you doing to solve this problem? And most times they're not, they're not, they're quick to complain about it and talk about it, but they're not taking action about it. And to me, it's like, if you're not taking action, then you have no right to complain. Yeah. Well said, bro. Well said. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm Latino by the way. But, okay. um, <laughs> but, no, no, no. It's all good. <laughs> I just judged you by your white skin. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You could pass for a white guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they've told me that I'm, I'm half Colombian and half Peruvian, but, um, nice. <laughs> Like, yeah, I mean, like, I, I love the product. And like a lot of my family members have tried it. Um, and like, they see the changes immediately. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's crazy. Like, in terms of it working, we know it works. Um, yep. And it's just, I don't know, it's like a thing that I guess it needs to be more acceptable by more cultures. And that's what I like, initially, initially, I tried to do is to introduce it to like latino culture as well and a lot of puerto ricans are are like opening up to it because they're closer to the caribbean and whatnot but um yeah a lot of people still don't know like have any clue what it is so it's, mm -hmm. it's well the truth of the matter is it's not just a caribbean thing like i have a friend of mine good friend of mine who's a teacher and one of his students is colombian and she goes home to colombia to get the stuff you know what I mean? She didn't even really know that it was something that was big in the Caribbean and stuff. Because when he, when they were talking about it and she was like, oh, you know what this is? He's like, yeah, I, you know, I sell it. And so does my friend and blah, blah, blah. And then that they got into this big discussion and stuff. So, you know, it's not a um, a culture or shouldn't be a culture. Right. You know what I mean? There's it, the, People have been eating this for centuries around the world. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Asians probably eat more, the, like, more sea moss than black people. Yeah, I mean they got the they got the purple one over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, and even in places like Vietnam and stuff like that, and and um, and Thailand stuff, they eat it f f fried. Like I have a friend that um, he's Vietnamese. He has this um, what do they call bomb me, and he makes uh, pho. That's it. He has a restaurant, a pho restaurant, and I gave him yeah. some of the sea moss, and he sent me a picture of what his mom took and did with the sea moss, and they they hydrated it soaked it and they stir fried it with shrimps and some other seasonings and shit. And, and I'm like, that's how you eat it? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, you know, they make it in the gel. He's like, really? Like, <laughs> he's like, no. He just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say go for it. You know what I mean? CMOS is going to grow big. You know what I mean? And if you sit us on the sides and say, I can't do this because of, the culture and you know or this and that then you miss it'd be different if you came in with like say blackface or you came in with like a rasta hot and said hey bye for, you know what i mean like you're trying to appropriate do, but just be you be yourself and sell the product hilarious <laughs>
blackface. Oh man, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah but, you on, definitely man. get run out of town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. No, nah, not not at all, man. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm just trying to introduce people to it, and um, yeah, I mean, like if you if you check one of the actual testimonials, I think it was like two testimonials ago on my page. Mm -hmm. That kid wrote me an essay in an email, and I was like, "Bro, can you please make that a review?" Because like it literally changed his life. Yeah, like CMOS. I don't know how bad his body must have been functioning, but it literally, if you go take a look at it when you get a chance, man, he was talking mm -hmm. about like it just like completely. I was like, "Wow, yes, yeah. dude." I, I and, and 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 how do I say it? it feels so powerful to be in this position to be able to offer something to someone that drastically changes their life like that. Like yeah. I have, um, I work at this warehouse and next door there's these guys that run this landscaping thing. And these guys are like white, rough, rugged guys, like totally on the, like at first glance, you would think these guys are racist. They're not right. But you know what I'm saying? Like they're super white, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. I know what and, you mean. Um, the one guy um, had cancer. And when we were talking, he kind of lifted it, you know, slipped out that, you know, he's not doing well and this, that. And so I gave him some of the sea moss and um, he was taking it for a while. And, you know, he was when to go to the doctors and the doctors were giving him like positive stuff. And then he, he kind of didn't see, he, he wasn't around the warehouse. So he wasn't getting the sea moss from me. And so he had sent someone to come see me and they basically said like, look, he needs more sea moss because the um the doctor was saying he was going doing good and then he stopped the CMOS and now he's falling behind and we, we want the CMOS to get him back up like the doctor okay. went to him and said like whatever you were doing before go yeah. back and do that because now that you've stopped it's not uh it's you know what i mean things are, are not the, as good as they were before when you were taking it yeah. yeah i i have i have a very similar story somebody here in bridgeport in connecticut actually he seeked me out because his brother's wife apparently beat cancer because of CMOS. Mm -hmm. I don't know how true those claims could be, but he literally seeked out the product and he said, this CMOS gel like saved my brother's wife's life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow. Like yeah. it felt, it felt like you said, it felt empowering because it's like, I'm not just selling something that's like, you know, like, uh, like it's like a, some whatever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You're not like just selling some ordinary widget or you know, it's not like a mouse or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even if it's even if it's a, another food product, like I know it's not something that people like say it doesn't work. Like like I've heard from people that it you know I can attest to it. That's my point. So yeah. So Aquarius, who I think is G Allen, he says hashtag adding hashtag, try adding hashtag to your post. And hashtags actually got me on Google. So nice. was, I wonder if he wants to talk about that. Let's see how he got on Google. And that's interesting. Because I, I don't use hashtags. Like, I use hashtags in the post to kind of say this and that. But I've always thought it was only worthwhile. Like, say if I did hashtags on Instagram, only people searching on the Instagram platform would be able to find it. I didn't realize that it can be sort of in-depth and stuff. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, what's going on? You're not gonna be able to see me because I'm I'm heading home now. I was out doing some deliveries, but this is what I wanted to say. Um, when you add hashtags, um, it it draws audience. Um, TikTok is a very great place to advertise. Um, when you add a hashtag, when you put a hashtag down on TikTok, it very much lets you know how many people have actually viewed that hashtag. It's a great place to advertise. Um, when I first started, I was doing hashtags. Hashtags actually got me on Google, like no lie. No lie. How, how like, did they get you on Google? Were they indexing the hashtags? Is that how it I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I have the slightest idea. I guess, like, people, I guess people searching for, like, CMOS or whatever. So, you know, I would hashtag my business name. Um, the, name, the name of my business is Soul Forever LLC. So that's the hashtag that I would use. So when I use that hashtag, and I think I was probably using it probably for about three, four, maybe five months, 
So I went on Google and I tried to search myself and I searched myself on Google, the name of my company, and it was on Google. So when you hashtag, Google picks up your hashtags. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yes, try it. Like if you're trying to go to a, a broader audience, like hashtag Latino, hashtag African American, don't be scared to advertise your stuff. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's no end. It's, it's, all, it's the only way it's up now. You know what I'm saying? What mm -hmm. you can do to advertise your product, you do that. Regardless mm -hmm. of what anyone else thinks, they may get tired of seeing you, whatever, but you have to push your own stuff. Mm -hmm. You got to push your own stuff before anyone else pushes your stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtags really work, man. Like, for real. Hashtags you're, work. And you're talking specifically like your hashtags on Instagram, right? So what now? You're, you're talking about when you do Instagram posts, like your hashtags there or TikTok? I hashtag, I hashtag everywhere. I hashtag on Facebook. I hashtag on Instagram. I hashtag on TikTok. This hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag everywhere. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag your company name. Yeah. Breaking up bad. Yeah. <laughs> He's going through a probably um dead zone. We can't yeah. hear you. I'm, uh, I'm driving Alan. through the country. I can hear you. Yeah. You probably can't hear me. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you now. Not much better now. Okay. All right. Like I was saying, like hashtag the name of your business. The Google will pick it up real quick. Hashtags. Hashtags are the way to go. Got it. I mean, I guess that plays a huge factor into the whole SEO thing. Uh, I mean, I guess that's how it picks it up, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I'm, it's it, it's worked for me. Got it. It's really worked for me. Like, um, mm. it's it's really good for me. It's really good. Um, you can target different people, like age groups and everything with hashtags. Like, do you have a TikTok account? I don't. Make you a tick, make you a TikTok. I'm telling you, TikTok is the new thing. Facebook is not it because face Facebook has so many. It's, it's crazy. It's really crazy. But yeah, get on TikTok. You're, make you a TikTok account. Yeah, for sure. Um, I always felt like. Like I mean, I know I know TikTok is killing it right now, but I always felt like TikTok was more for um, people that are just scrolling through, looking at viral stuff. But mm -mm. And, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, set your thoughts to the side, because um, I'm gonna tell you one thing right now. When you sit here and you think of certain things, and you get deep into thought. It's gonna only only hold you back. You have to That's think true. outside of the box. You have to step out on faith. You have to do you. Whatever you have to do to make yourself successful, you do that. Yeah, for sure. You do that. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't mind what everyone else is gonna say because you're gonna always have naysayers. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta. Block I, noise. Yes. Yeah, I definitely don't care. <laughs> I say what I had to say, and I keep it moving. That's it. And 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 here's the thing: those that want to mess with you, they'll respect your honesty. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Um, I try to another thing too. Um, give advice. That's what I try to do. I try to give advice. Um, because the more advice you give from your mistakes you're going to teach someone else and it's going to bring you more. It's going to bring you more success because people, they, they're going to say, they're going to say, can't hear you again.
<laughs> but yeah, always, always back, what I do, might even want to start is maybe like when he's say, saying the helping is is um, building your own like page or group, and then using that to um, analyze traffic. You know what I mean? Or or, or identify uh, um, like an audience. Yeah. But what were you saying, Kobe? Because you you got cut off like midway through what you were saying last. You there? I mean, this is Alan. This, or this I called Alan. you Kobe, but I yeah, I called you. Yeah, because yeah, sorry, Alan. I called you Kobe, <laughs> and the re no, no, you know what it is? I'm, 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 I'm a multitasker. So while we're talking and stuff, I'm like going through some of the posts and stuff, and and it appears that uh, Marvin is a little like. I don't even want to get started in the conversation, but they're just, I'm deleting posts and, and <laughs> removing comments because everybody's starting to start drama. It's like, ah. Drama <laughs> where? Drama on, uh, I, so you know I have a Facebook group on, um, on, you, on, Facebook, on YouTube. A Facebook group on YouTube. Facebook group on Facebook where it's called the Seamoth Buyers Club. And it's for um, basically people around the world to network and buy and sell seamless. And okay. So there's a lot of um, exporters on there. And one of them is this guy, Marvin. And so, I don't know. He's not happy with a couple of people he's done business with. But it is what it is. I try to, like, keep that stuff off the group because I feel like there's certain things that need to be exposed. And then there's certain things where it's like – it's 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 not really an issue. It's more of like these guys just couldn't communicate and, and come right. to an agreement, right. you know. So and, then, and you know, and that's I one stay thing out of I, those arguments, right? And you know, that's one thing that I say as well. Like all of all of us are in the business, and um, we don't need to be putting each other down. I know we we are all trying to make it. You know, mm -hmm. we're all trying to make it. You don't need to be putting anyone's business down, especially if you're in the business. Because you have to look at it like this. How would you feel if someone was putting your business down? It could really hurt you. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, and what I've experienced in this business is, um, don't put a person down. Don't put their business down. Because you, you never know if that's their main income. If you have an issue with them, take it to them. Mm -hmm. You don't, don't, don't take it to a group because you never know who's seeing it. You know, people could like it, they could love it, they could comment on it, but other people are seeing that as well. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hurt anyone because I'm gonna tell you something. Karma is real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will come back. Karma will come back on you. If karma does not come back on you, it's gonna come back on one of your family members. Mm -hmm. You gotta realize that we are here to build each other, not tear each other down. No. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And a lot of this stuff can be handled off um offline you know what i mean exactly and, and that's usually like the only time there, there's only been one situation where i felt like i had to remove someone in the group or ban him and it, and it actually happened today and the main reason why i did it was because i reached out to the guy and said hey what's going on like are you planning to pay this person back or whatever now had the person come back and said well here here's my side of the story I would have listened, right? But this guy never responded to me, never said nothing. And then someone else chimes in and says, yeah, he ripped me off too. And it's like, you know, uh, oh my God, like you, you, like you rip off two people and you don't want to respond to me when I question you, then that's a sign that they, they're, you know, there's a problem. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of people out here, um, there's a lot of scams going on. It, it's hard to trust people. It, I've been scammed before, um, especially when, I, when the PPP loans were going on. You know, I was trying to do it myself. I couldn't do it myself. And I actually paid somebody to do it for me. They, they actually stole my identity. Oh, wow. Yeah, you have to be very careful. Very, very careful. And from my knowledge, um, the PPP loans, are, they're, they're about to come out again, from what I've heard. So mm -hmm. anyone that's on this live or anything, so if you don't have your LLC or whatever, now is the time to go ahead and get it. Mm -hmm. It's the time. Go ahead and get it. Get that money. Build your build your brand. Build your company. Um, help these people. Right? It's all about helping. It's, it's mm -hmm. not about taking, taking, taking. Because the more you help, the, the more you're going to receive. Trust me.
Yep. It it runs into the thing called the law of service. Mm -hmm. And if you, you and, and sacrifice too. And if, so if you give a service to someone, even if it's like, you don't have to give the service to the people that you're getting the benefit from. You just have to do something of service. So have you guys ever read the book, Think and Grow Rich? I've never read no, it. No, but I've heard of it. Yeah. I have to read it. Yeah. If you believe in anything about manifestation or um, creating things with your thoughts and stuff, this book gives you the blueprint on how to start that. Many of the things that I've accomplished in life have been used when I've used these tactics. And, and one of them is the service. So you, you go out and you ask the universe, okay, I want $300,000 in the next six months. And in exchange for this $300,000, this is what I'm going to do is provide for service. I'm going to go to the soup kitchen and I'm going to clean their toilets and I'm going to, you know, serve soup on weekends. You do that and you fall through with that, I guarantee you will get the money. You, you know what? You're absolutely right. It's all about being, um, being a humanitarian. Um, mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I, what I did last night before I went to bed. Um, I am very deep into my spirituality. So I speak affirmations over myself. I tell myself, okay, this is what I'm going to do today. This is what's going to happen tomorrow. This, that, and the other. So, you know, before I went to bed, Last night, I spoke some affirmations over myself. I said, okay, I'm going to have this happen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And, you know, lo and behold, when I got up, <laughs> like, everything everything that I spoke over myself, it actually, it happened. Like, mm -hmm. it happened. It, like, this is some real, it's real. It's real. Yeah. People don't believe it. They'll look at you like you're crazy. But you have the ability to speak over yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you have to do this. Like, if you don't speak over yourself, there's somebody else speaking over you. And mm -hmm. you better believe it. It's going to be somebody that's speaking over you negatively. Yep. So you have to speak positive over yourself. You have to tell yourself what you're going to receive, what you're going to gain out of this. You got to tell yourself, yeah, I'm, this is me. I'm going to reach this goal. You have to do these things. Mm -hmm. it, it's come to the point where I'm extremely protective of my thoughts and and who brings me like makes me think negative thoughts because when I get into that state, things start going wrong. But when right. I, when I'm really happy and in, in a good mood, it's like I move mountains, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah. It's all about, it's all about protecting your energy. And I think that was something that I said when I went live on the Facebook, I said, it's fine to protect yourself. You have to protect your energy. Like if somebody comes at you negative is you, you have every right to protect yourself, protect your energy. Mm -hmm. Let these people know, okay, no, this is not going to happen, but this is what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to, when someone comes at you negative, you, you have to go back at them with that same energy. You mm -hmm. have to match that same energy that they have. Don't overpower that energy. Don't go over that energy. But you match that same energy. You say what you have to say, and you keep it moving. Don't say anything else. Leave it. Cancel leave it, it out. Back. Yeah. 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 Good well, talk. He does speak affirmations over people, so I appreciate him that he told me some stuff a couple, about a week or so ago that, that stuck with me. Uh, he gave me an affirmation, so I appreciate him for that while, while we speaking on it. <laughs> no problem, man. I remember what I said. I remember what I said. You know, the funny thing is, is that it, what you said, it, it didn't, like, okay, this is the funny thing about it. What you said, I, I felt it, and even though it wasn't like when you said now you're supposed to be on a shark tank but the next day i think it was either next day or the day after julian sent me a message about shark tank so it was, I, I, it was like, confirmation i said it doesn't matter if it was coming from me or anybody it's like i understand that the affirmation even though i'm not on shark tank is it's gonna help proceed both of us and everybody so yeah, I definitely appreciate that affirmation that you gave me, bro. No problem, man. Like, like I say, and I tell, I say it in, in the group all the time. I'm here to help, not hinder, and that's what a lot of people don't realize is I'm here to help people. And I'm gonna tell you another thing too. I I realized that since I came in the group, and like I was like I started sparking some fires. It's the group has became more active. It's became active in a negative way and in a positive way, but that's fine, and that's how it's going to be. It's cool. It's totally cool. But, you know, I'm here for everybody. I'm here for everybody. Everybody. 
Wait, who was who were you talking to right now? Because there was nobody else on screen. No. <laughs> what do you mean? No, um, my my boy here, the one that, the one that we can't see. I, yeah, oh. uh, yeah. He, I was talking to Rick. You you didn't hear Rick talking? Oh yeah. So just so you know, bro, I I'm I'm on um, YouTube, Facebook, Clubhouse, and Instagram. So you're oh. talking to Ricky. He's on Instagram. Or sorry, on Clubhouse. So I got the phone, like literally, like this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so that's, that's where like, you're hearing him. I'm like, who else is here? I can't see anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm I'm on Good top stuff. of shit. Yeah. I'm gonna say effective. this. Like, that, that's yeah, I'm gonna that tell you, man. Like, it's like this. This is it's real, man. It's real out here. It's yes. real out here, and um, a lot of people that think that other people are making more money than them, but. You have to realize you have to stay in your place and you have to applaud everyone else until it's your turn. Just because you're not making any money right now does not mean that you're not going to make any money. But if you sit back and you watch everyone else, you applaud them, you congratulate them, your time is coming. It's just not your time right now. Everyone has their time. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I am doing I am giving people a foundation. Um, I'm giving them a building block. Um, I, I really don't like to tell people, but I do say it. I, I am a prophet. I see things. I feel things. Like, I know things about people that they don't think I know. Like, I could go back. I could tell people about their past, this, that, the other. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just, that's just one of the gifts that I have. So with them being a prophet, a prophet is here to build, not tear down. Mm -hmm. So I am here to build your foundation for your building to stand on. That's why I'm here. A lot of people don't like it, but guess what? I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. It, so. It's amazing when you know what your purpose is and your mission. And in some ways, you, you just, just cut out the noise. You just cancel it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah, because I mean, like, uh, and Julian, yeah. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a tell you this, Julian. It's like you... you are about to um oh man Julia you're about to um I receive it you're you 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 are about to really explode like you are about to be so busy <laughs> you are about to be so busy that is crazy and one of the things that you're going to be busy in is this powder that I asked you to talk about you're going to be very busy in this mm -hmm. because this this is very up and coming. Mm -hmm. You're about to be busy. Um, something tells me that you need to start looking for you a, a, a staff. Like if you don't have people working for you, uh, you, you may <laughs> want to um, get you, put it's some coming. post on Indeed. Put you some post on Indeed because you're about to need a team because mm -hmm. you're about to be very, very, very busy. Very Thank busy. Thank you, sir. I receive it. I receive <laughs> it. Thank you. Yes, sir. But y'all, you know, um, I've just made it home. I'm about to get off this live. I have a very busy day tomorrow. Well, what time is it? Yeah, tomorrow. It's, it's 11, 13 here. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very busy. Um, I'm putting my stuff in the store on Saturday. And I have another store to go look at next week. So uh, things are moving for me. Awesome. And I love it. I love it. I love. I love everything. But you know, I want to say good night to you all. I want you all to be successful. You all will be successful, and you all. I love y'all. I do. I Thank love you. Love you too. Sorry, y'all. Have a good, good night, night, bro. All right, have a good night. All right, all right, bro. That was nice and sweet, and. um I do believe them because in some ways, like I, there's a lot of things I can't say that are happening. And um, it's like one of those things where it's kind of like, I can see how God is putting me into a certain position to play a certain role. And so I'm kind of like, you know, when you're floating down the water and you see something coming, I'm just kind of like laying there and saying, okay, God, take me where you need me to go. And I promise, you know what I mean, to just honor you and what I believe you you put me in that place to do, you know. And so I'm I'm really excited. Yeah, man. 
good stuff. Mm -hmm. So did you have any, she's like, I'm late. What's on the agenda tonight? So Tata, we're talking about all kinds of stuff. Man, yeah, like we, we drifted off pretty. Uh... <laughs> but that's what's good about this. I love about doing this show is that if we were to keep things like sort of like narrowed, then we wouldn't explore all these different ideas and stuff. You know what I mean? That yeah. um, we wouldn't think of exploring. So, yeah, Tata, you, you've heard Ricky. He's on uh, Clubhouse talking. And so, yeah, and um, Moss King is here, but I think he's staying quiet. And then there's another lady, Messi. And Messi, if you want to come up and ask some questions about CMOS or talk about it, um, we're all for it. Like, this is always an open discussion room. Um, no question is too big or too small, you know what I mean? And we talk about anything. Like, today we're talking about advertising on Facebook and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have any questions, Messi? I see you came up to the stage. Yeah, hi. I just uh, joined this club. I don't know. Um, I've seen. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's all about CMOS, right? Uh, nice to see you all. Yes. My name is Messi. I live here in Canada, Ottawa. I'm not sure where you are at. Uh, but I would love to learn about CMOS because my friend recently she started to use it yet for skincare, mm -hmm. and I don't know where should I shop, and you know, kind of. Uh, in a position, you know, exploring, you know, the benefits and, you know, those are the things, you know, I would love to learn more about. I don't know if you have any resource. Yeah. I would love to hear, yeah. Yeah, if you want to send your email um, into the chat there in the back channel, I can send you a link. And anybody that's joining here, if they ever want to send me, uh, you can send an email or you can, e actually, this is a better way to do it because um, otherwise I might take a while to get to the email. But if you send an email to stlucianseamoss at gmail.com within the subject title, please send me CMOS links. I keep a track like a book, um, bookmark book or whatever it's called, a folder of all the links that I've kind of browsed through and read stuff and has information on CMOS. And I will give you access to that and also access to whatever PDFs I've collected over time that either talks about CMOS or CMOS farming or the CMOS industry and stuff like that. And so these are good stuff to sort of browse through and, and figure you know stuff out. But another good site that has a lot of information on health all around and I find is a very uh, balanced resource because one of the things you got to keep your eye out is to make sure that the information you're taking is, is actually factual and is, you know, reflecting both sides, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's not just one-sided. And so, yeah, so you look at, you get that information and uh, I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> sometimes you get in a thought and then Tata wrote this thing here, which says, are we doing a re uh, reflection live after Shark Tank Friday? And um, so I got a little distracted. But yeah, send me to, wrap, to, to kind of sum it up, send me the email and I will send you the links of all the stuff that I've collected and that will start giving. Oh, that's what I was talking about. The site is called Detox and Cure. Detoxandcure.com. It's run by a guy named Matthew out of Australia. And in his site, he has a blog and it talks about like all things CMOS, what to look for in CMOS, the top 10 benefits of CMOS. Uh, and it even has an article where he goes in uh, what's called uncovering the wildcrafted myth because there's a big myth between wildcrafted sea moss and stuff. And so he goes in and, and, and challenges a lot of the things that Dr. Sabi had said and, and sort of researches it and says, OK, this is what he said, but this is what what he said actually means and stuff. And so it really is an eye opener on um, a lot of the things that people are saying um, about CMOS. So yeah, go check out Detox and Cure and, and, and you know, check out his site. But hey, also Messi, just to let you know, I'm in Toronto, Canada. So I'm from Canada too. And like, if you ever want to reach out to me with questions about CMOS, um, if we don't answer all your questions today, you know what I mean, I'm more than happy to try and answer those. Have you tried CMOS yet, Messi, at all? No. No, I'm just, you know, I'm just checking, but uh, you know, I couldn't get the chance. 